Breakfast this Wednesday, the 20th. It is sunny currently here, but there's rain headed this way. We'll see. I need to run an errand at lunch, so hopefully it'll hold off until after then. I have a hard-boiled egg. This is two points. I like to eat it with salt and pepper and a little bit of Frank's hot sauce, so that's all zero. I have a slice of the Sara Lee. I'm going to show this to you guys. Delightful. 45 calories. I wax and wane. I usually buy the multigrain. Sometimes I buy the wheat. So one point for one slice. I have half of a serving or seven grams of challenge light butter flavored with olive oil for one point. And then I have two, oh steam, two Jimmy Dean turkey sausage links. They're one point each. So my whole breakfast is two, four, six. I also of course have a serving a one point serving of the coffee mate sugar-free sweet italian cream creamer on my last cup of coffee and i have some grapes here i won't eat all these but i had to pick through them there were some that were getting kind of ugly so that's what i got this is the beginning of what will be an eight point lunch but this part of it is one point i have a salad with all of the usual zero point suspects lettuce celery, carrot, red pepper, mushrooms. Oh, I haven't added my tomatoes yet. Eventually it will have tomatoes. And cucumber, I have one point worth or 30 grams of the Bolt House. I'll show it to you. The Bolt House Farms Chunky Blue Cheese Yogurt Dressing. This is found in the produce section, so if you're looking for it, this is one of their lower point ones. It is one point for 30 grams. Some of the others is two points for 30 grams, and 30 grams is basically two tablespoons. Like the classic ranch, which is really yummy, is two points. The Caesar is two points. So this is a one point salad. I'm gonna eat this and then I'll show you the rest of my lunch when I eat it. I am very excited for this lunch and I'll tell you why. And if you wanna skip through this, feel free. <laughs> I am a graduate of Texas A&M University. Don't hold it against me. I swear there are smart people that go to that school and a lot of us end up being quite capable and contributing to society. Uh, in any case, there were a couple of guys who started a franchise in the College Station area and that franchise, if you're familiar with it, it is called Double Dave's Pizza. And they have really, really good pizza, but their claim to fame is something called a pepperoni roll, not pepperoni, pepperoni roll. And it is pizza dough rolled tightly like a, what's a good word for it? I was gonna say knish, that's not quite right. Anyway, um, it's basically just pizza dough stuffed with cheese and pepperoni, no sauce. <clears throat> but that you can get sauce on the side to dip it in or ranch or whatever you want. And they are so darn good. And part of it is, you know, who doesn't like pizza dough, right? So I came up with my own version. I have no idea if this is gonna taste any good. I took two of the Nasoya egg roll wrappers that I already had in my refrigerator, and in the middle of them, I rolled a little bit of pizza sauce and some low fat part skim mozzarella cheese and some turkey pepperoni. Sealed them up and baked them. So it is three points for the two egg roll wrappers, one point for the sauce, one point for the mozzarella cheese that I used, and one point for the 10 slices of turkey pepperoni. So three, four, five, six for these two things that I'm calling knockoff pizza rolls. I also have some Bolt House ranch dressing, which I showed you earlier. This is one point or half a serving for dipping because when I had pepperoni rolls at Double Dave's, or when I do still, I like to dip them in ranch. So I'm gonna let these guys cool down and eat them, but I will definitely let you know how they are. I have these egg roll wrappers and I'm trying to come up with ways to use them. Um, they're a little bit high in points. Three is five points, two is three points. I think one is two points. Kind of crossed my mind. You know what I think would be good? Would be if I coated them in cinnamon sugar and rolled some Nutella in them, but that seems a little counterproductive unless I had a lot of points to blow. Anywho, I'll let you know. I'm going to have a snack before I go pick up my daughter at school. 
I apologize. The dishwasher is going in the background and it doesn't normally go during the day. We run it at night, but I was really low on silverware and with the kids coming over, I need some silverware. So I'm having a Dannon Light and Fit Greek yogurt. This is the banana cream. I don't think you can tell on camera, but kind of an orange color. I didn't realize it was that orange the last time I bought it. It's two points. I mixed it with some cut strawberries that were on the edge of no longer being good. So I'll finish those up and throw the rest of them away. And I topped it with 10 grams of the Weight Watchers Oat Cluster cereal for one point. Although now that I'm speaking it out loud, maybe 10 grams is two points. I'll verify that and let you guys know. So this is either a three point snack or a four point snack. Hmm. Gonna eat it regardless. I made myself another iced coffee. I'm about to literally walk out the door and go pick up my daughter. This is zero points. All it has in it is instant coffee, water, ice, a quarter cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, and a teaspoon of fat-free half and half. Hey, snack while I make dinner. Three points, one for the Sara Lee multigrain delightful bread, one for the 25 grams of mashed avocado, one for the reduced fat, feta, and then of course zero for the pico de gallo. I made the skillet chicken cordon bleu from Skinny Taste. I will link the recipe down in the description bar. It is five points per serving. It was very tasty, super easy to make as well. The side dish is quinoa and spinach. It's a Weight Watchers recipe directly off of the website. So if you're a member, just search in the box for quinoa and spinach. It is three points for a half cup. So this is an eight point dinner. And I curled up on the couch to watch TV with my unsweetened applesauce and my husband, of course, which I sprinkled with a little bit of cinnamon. This was zero points.